Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com, and in this video, we'll show you how to install the TW RP recovery on your Poker F4. Before starting, please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on a safer side. So once you have done that, let's get started. First and foremost, let me show you. Currently, I'm using the Poker F4 phone, as you could verify from the about phone section as well. So this is the MI UI version, and this is my device in Poker F4. So in this video, we'll show you how to install the recovery on this phone. So let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB commands. So download it from the link given in my guide and then extract them onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract them anywhere you want. So let me show you as well. So I have done it in the eDrive. You could extract these files anywhere on your PC. So once you have extracted the platform tools folder, you'll now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB commands. Whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now enable both this toggle. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about phone and now tap on MIUI version 7 times. You will now get a prompt that you are now a developer. Once you get this, go back, then go to additional settings and from there you should now see developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will now get a prompt on your phone. So make sure to check mark I'm aware of the risk and then you'll have to wait for 10 seconds. Once that time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK and it should enable developer option on your phone. So as you could see, it's now enabled on my phone and you will also get a, a prompt on your phone as of now. Simply tap on OK or allow. Once you have done that, let's now verify the ADB debugging connection. So for that, go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside the platform tools folder directory as you could see. Now just type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting a serial ID, then unplug and replug your phone to the PC, disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, likewise use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting the serial ID, you are now good to go ahead. So next up, you'll now have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. For that, make sure you have enabled the OEM unlocking. Once that is done, you could refer to my guide or my video on how to unlock the bootloader using the Me Unlock tool. So carry out the entire process and once the process has been done, you, you should see something like this in the Me Unlock tool as unlocked successfully. Likewise, you could also verify the same from your developer option. Under OEM unlocking, it will show as bootloader is already unlocked as you could see in my case. Likewise, under Me Unlock setters, it will show that this device is unlocked. So this means that the bootloader has been unlocked and you are now good to go ahead. So next up, we'll now have to download the recovery file for our phone. So download it from the link given in my guide. It's the official recovery link. As you could see, I'm opening it link. So here there's a zip file as well as an IMG file. We only need the IMG file. We don't need the zip file. So download the IMG file. And once you have downloaded it, simply transfer it to the platform tools folder. So as you could see, this is the recovery IMG file. I have transferred it to the platform tools folder. So once that is done, we'll now have to boot our phone to the fastboot mode. So for that, you could either use the hardware key combination, which involves powering of the phone and then using the volume down and the power keys for five seconds. So, so power off your phone and press and hold both this key and your phone will boot to the fastboot mode. Or you could also use the ADB commands. Let me show you the ADB command method. For that, you just have to use the ADB reboot bootloader command and hit enter. This will boot your phone to the fastboot mode and the process should only take a few seconds. So as you could see, my phone is about to boot to the fastboot mode and it will just show the fastboot text and nothing else. And it's currently booting to the fastboot mode. So guys, our phone is now in the fastboot mode. Let's now verify if our PC is able to re read our phone in this mode. So for that, type in fastboot devices and hit enter. Make sure it's showing the serial ID. If you're not getting any serial ID, or if you're getting a yellow mark or exclamation mark or a blank, then it means you have to install fastboot drivers as well. For that, you could refer to my guide. I have linked the guide in this section as well. So just refer to, to this guide over here and install the fastboot drivers. I also made a video. You could either refer to my guide or the video and install the fastboot drivers. Once you have installed a fastboot driver, make sure you're getting a serial ID over here. As you could see, likewise, use the Windows X shortcut keys and then choose device manager. From device manager, expand the Android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So as you could see, it's Android bootloader interface under Android phone. So this plus the serial ID signifies that our phone is able to 
is booted in the fast boot mode and our PC is able to identify the phone in this fast boot mode. So once that is done, we could now move over to the next step which involves booting our phone to the Clearblue RP recovery. You should always boot your phone to the recovery and never flash the recovery. This is because if something goes wrong, we could easily recover our phone by a simple restart. However, ever if you flash the recovery, then it could prove to be of some issues. So let's first temporarily boot to our phone through this recovery and if everything goes well and good, we could then install it permanently. So for booting to recovery, let me show you what you need to do first and foremost. Make sure that the recovery file is there in the platform tools folder and the recovery is in the IMG format, which is the disk image file. So make sure it's in the IMG format. Once that is done, let's rename the file to something shorter so that it becomes easier to type in the CMD window. So let's rename it to TWRP and the complete name become TWRP.IMG. So we will now booting our phone to the TWRP recovery using this file. So for that, open the CMD window inside platform tools folder and just type in fastboot boot name of the file, which in our case is TWRP.IMG. So type in this command and hit enter. Our phone will now boot to the to the recovery mode. Is the TWRP recovery? It will first send the recovery file to our phone. You could see it's sending the boot.img file. This is because the Poco F4 does not have a recovery partition. It has a boot partition, and we will be using the boot partition to flash the recovery. And as you could see, the our phone has now booted to the recovery mode. It's just a temporary recovery. If you reboot our phone now, then it will boot to the OS, and the recovery will be removed. So let's now make it permanent. For making it permanent, there are two approaches. You could either use the flash current review RP method or you could use the flash recovery RAM disk method. You could carry out any of these two tasks. It's recommended that you use the flash current review RP method. So for this, you have to go to the advanced section and just select flash current review RP. Finally, swipe to confirm and the recovery file will now be flashed onto our phone and it will be permanently flashed. So as you could see, the flashing has now started and it's now completed just to re-verify go back again go back now go to reboot and select recovery if our phone reboots to TWRP recovery then it means that the recovery has been flashed permanently so let me now check the process so as you could see our phone has now booted to the recovery and this means that the recovery has been flashed permanently so apart from that there is one more method by which you could install the recovery for that you first have to boot your phone to the recovery mode via the fast food boot command once it's in the recovery mode Go to the mount option, make sure to check mark the data partition and likewise make sure it's showing as disable MTP. This signifies that our phone is currently in the MTP mode. So once you've enabled MTP, go to your PC and your phone should not be listed here as you could see my phone is here. So simply copy the recovery file to your rp.img file and transfer this file to your device. So let me now simply, so simply go here and paste the recovery file in the internal storage. Once you have pasted the file, now you should go back and now go to advance and select install recovery RAM disk. Now choose the recovery.img file and perform a right swipe to flash. It will again install the recovery file and this time around it will be permanently flashed onto our phone. So these are the two methods of flashing the recovery. It's recommended that you always use the flash current PWRP method because it's the shorter and easier of the two. On the other hand, if you use the recovery ram disk method then is a slightly longer method as you could see the flashing is still going on and it's not completed so just to re-verify again go back then go to reboot and select recovery and let's verify our phone should now again boot to the recovery mode and with this we will be able to verify the process so as you could see our phone is now in the TWRP recovery which signifies that the recovery has been flashed successfully and guys with that we round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.